Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'll be showing you how to unlock the 4k damage badge for Pathfinder in Season 10. What I'm going to do is be giving you some broad tips that apply to any legend you're trying to get this badge with. Then I will cover specific tactics and play styles for Pathfinder. And then throughout the game, I'll be discussing my decision making so you can better understand how to have these types of games way more often. I know some of these types of videos don't get the most views, but I get comments all the time about how these videos have helped some of y'all improve and even drop 4k damage games and 20 bombs. So I will continue to do these videos from time to time. All right, so let's get right into it. If you're solo queuing like I am in this game, then just understand it's going to be much harder to do this solo typically. So don't be too hard on yourself if you fail over and over again. But you always want to drop somewhat hot. And here we obviously went to estates and that's because it's always going to have a lot of action and you need a good start to the game in order to add to that initial damage count off draw. You always want to try to move pretty fast after you finish the fights and continue rotating to where you either hear more shots or where you think another team could possibly be. When you solo queue though, this will be harder because most randoms aren't able to keep up with you. Now most of the time, I don't need my randoms to do too much, because if they do too much, there's generally not enough damage to go around, but if they do too little, you will find yourself in situations where you're frankly outnumbered. So there's somewhat of a delicate balance that goes on when I play with randoms, and not this game, I was lucky to have a decent teammate being the Octane. Let's talk about what loadouts you should be running if you're going for these 4k damage games. It's totally going to be your preference of what weapons you're comfortable with, but in this game, I'm going to be running Wingman and Mastiff. I love having a shotgun in Apex because a lot of the fights are close range. They're fairly consistent, somewhat. But when I play as Pathfinder, I can crack an armor and then grapple in to close the gap quickly and knock them with a shotgun. It's a solid play that I like to do in most of the games. Other weapons I'll recommend for you are going to be Flatline, R301 Carbine, Volt, L-Star, Rampage, and you can always go the long range route if you're going to be farming damage from a distance with weapons like the G7 Scout, Longbow, or Charge Rifle. This is totally your preference, so use whatever guns you're most comfortable with and you succeed with. A couple Pathfinder tactics that I feel like is useful for you guys to know if you're going for this with Pathfinder is I always try to save my grapple for when I need it. I never want to grapple into a team unless I've already dealt some damage to them. If you grapple in and things don't go great, then you have no way out because your grapple is going to be on a cooldown. Consider this when you're going into any fight. You want to be conscious of your teammates and their abilities as well. Obviously in this game, my teammate is an Octane, so he can get to most places I can with his jump pad if he has it. But if I had some legends that weren't mobility legends as teammates, I'd be more careful of what sort of positions I put myself in so that they can be there to assist me if needed. I always try to save my zip line to take high ground for my teammates and I if we need it and I use my grapple for myself to quickly reposition in a lot of the fights that I get into. Now I'm going to walk you through my thought process throughout the rest of this video so you guys can better understand how I'm able to have these 4k damage games and so you guys can be more successful in Apex. So we had already knocked one, they had lifeline res, my teammate came in and stopped the revive. I can't see anything, they keep Bangalore smoking so I grapple past. Unfortunately, I missed, then I hit 55, and I knew I'd trade here, and I had confidence in my Octane to be able to clutch this 1v1, or at least wait while I self-res on the door. I had gold backpack, so if you have gold backpack and gold knock, you just use it. Don't worry about it, because if the teammate goes to the revive, then dies, it's just way better for you to do it and have him challenge. All right, so fast forwarding a bit, we heard some fighting down here in Solar Array, so we looked to third party and get involved. Now, I'm a little bit over 2k damage here. There's only three other squads. I know all of them are full teams because four times three is 12. There's 11 of us. The third was our third missing teammate, basically. So right here, I see a Caustic on the roof. I crack him and I push up, grapple in. This is the perks of being Pathfinder. Knock, then I'm gonna thirst. Make sure you guys are thirsting. This extra 100 damage does add up and it will go a long way when you're trying to drop 4k damage games. Now, there was somebody else in the building, but my teammate and I had no idea how many there were. I headshot this fuse, so I go and challenge. Get the squad wipe off on the fuse. Pop a battery behind some cover because that team is still inside Solar Array building. So my teammate has said, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know who's on whose team. So I'm like, all right, I grapple up, take high ground. Another Bangalore, they smoke right here and it's pitch black. I can't see anything, I get fried. So I climb back up on the roof, 
pop up battery. Now this goes on for a little while and I just cut it out of the video because nobody was really making a move and I knew there was gonna be three of them in there and they kept scanning us with Bloodhound and Bangalore smoking us. So it's just, I knew they had a Gibby. It was just not a good combo for us to go fight in. As Pathfinder, I never wanna fight indoors if I can help it because you don't really have your abilities and Pathfinder has a huge hitbox. So up close, he gets deleted. So I end up getting a Kraber from this care package and I hit three shots. I hit the Gibby, I knocked the Bloodhound and I hit the Bangalore for 145. So I'm like, we gotta push. Now my teammate only knows I knocked one, but then I get shot in the back and he's already healing. And he says to me, yeah, that's why I didn't want to push because there was another team shooting us. And so I'm like, all right, at this point, they've probably already reset, got the revive. And I was just like, all right, we got to play patient here. I thought we could go in on that, but we couldn't. I fast forward a little bit. They're still chilling in the building, but I'm getting griefed by this other team. I get hit the one shot after I hit that guy with the Kraber. I realize the zone's closing in, so I grapple in. I'm literally one HP, so I'm healing in this little corner. Once I heal, I turn my attention to this other team that was griefing us. But I'm trying to keep an eye on the team behind us as well, because right now we're getting sandwiched pretty bad. And it's just not a great situation, but I gotta try to hit some Kraber shots so we can try to win this game. Now, I miss a few Kraber shots here. They're gonna heat shield and rotate all the way around, which is such a weird move in a pub. I should have headshot the Revenant there. I don't though, I hit him 145. My teammate is repositioning. So we go over here. Now we try to get behind both of the teams. I keep missing some Kraber shots. It's not looking good for me. They're gonna rotate still. They're playing super weird. I'm still gonna challenge here. The Bangalore still has to rotate. That's why I'm looking. I 145 her. I'm basically out of ammo at this point, so I end up swapping guns. And now we turn our focus to this other team that was griefing us. We know there's only two because my teammate had knocked their third. I hear a Watson in the building. So I push her. She's already low. Knock her. I'm going to thirst. Make sure I get that extra damage. My teammate is looking at the other teammate of theirs. I decide to leave that fence. Sometimes I leave the Watson fences in case an enemy comes, but I probably should have just destroyed it. And we clean up that team right there pretty easily. So once we finish that, we got Bloodhound scan. So I figured this team would rotate around. They're already here. I do get hit for a good amount. They're throwing two ultimates at us. I grapple back, pop a battery. I just want to create some space. I realize the Bangalore is pushing me here, which is kind of weird. She ego challenges me. I hit her for a good amount. I thought she'd swing on the right. She doesn't, so I grapple on her. Style on her with the wingman. My teammate had knocked one as well. But then he goes down. So I thirst the Bangalore just to make sure I get that extra damage once again. There's a Bangalore ult going on, so I bat behind this cover. He's telling me he knocked one. He just got the Elim. The other one is healing. So I wait for the stun to go away. If you guys are enjoying this video, please be sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It helps the video out tremendously. It will only take a second of your time. Now, always take high ground as Pathfinder. This is easily how I won this, despite missing a ton of shots on this guy. Just quickly reposition on height, and boom, 4K damage. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new and you don't want to miss out on my next upload. Thank you guys so much for watching another video of mine. Peace. Somebody puts in the work. Good job, man. <laughs>